just recently got into this habit where as soon as I come back home from school, I'll just plop into my bed. Like I'll either sleep or I'll look at my computer activities, but it mostly just consists of me staring off into space. Today I thought maybe I'd take a nap, and then when I wake up, I'll have some really fresh dreams to come and tell you guys, but I don't remember anything. Even this morning, I set my alarm to wake up at 5 o'clock. I felt that as soon as I woke up, I would have cut off my dream at some point, and then I would have a really fresh dream to talk about, and I didn't then, either. But I think uh, Tuesday night, I had this one very, um, sporadic dream. And so the basic plot line was that I was in a dormitory. I was in a bathrobe and I was trying to look for clothing and then just like picture that there's a time skip. And then after that I was with a friend of mine. She's not a real friend that I actually have. She was just a generic white ginger girl. There was a Harry Potter themed football game you were supposed to bring a thing there, like bring like an offering kind of to the game. And I think both of us forgot to bring it. So then she said, oh my god, god nah, 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 let's, let's go. Because if they catch us, we'll be in lots of trouble. We came like up around the stairs and around the back and then we were at one of my friend's room. And I think I remembered that I didn't have clothes on in the beginning. And I was like, oh my god, I'm naked. I need to... So then I had like a towel and then I was asking some of my friends for clothes. I remember this part a lot more clearly because I woke up right after this. I remember she opened her suitcase and half of it was just full of Hello Kitty pajamas and they had like these really big hearts that overlap overlapped on top of each other and there was light pink and like a darker pink and then there were lots of Hello Kitty heads and it was really, it was really cute. So then I borrowed that, and then I woke up right after that. I analyzed that, like, in a Freudian way. Like, what would that mean? I had another dream, maybe a few months ago. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I remember the architecture of everything. Like, there was... Uh, so it was like a square, but with a hole, with a square hole in the middle. And so it started off, I was like walking down the road, and then the people that owned the establishment, they were very wrinkly. Like, they were really, really wrinkly. Like, they had bags of skin just, like, covering their eyes. And then, like, a wrinkle just went around like that. So their no their no one of the person's noses was a bit sideways. And then, time skip. The stairs were also particularly weird because no building would be designed like this. Like, first floor to second floor, second floor to third floor. Just like that. Like, how would... I don't understand how the floor would be arranged. And they weren't like curvy stairs, they were just eh, eh. Someone told me, or like I just heard from somewhere, that there was a cat that lived on the second floor that was terrorizing a troll that lived on the bottom floor. I'm not really sure if it was a troll, it was just going like yeah, yeah, yeah. The person was kind of saying, Sonia, you have to stop this person, but I'm, you have to stop this cat. It was a cat. And then it came time for me to actually kill the cat. And what I had to do was, the cat was standing right there, it didn't really see me. And then what I had to do was I had to take my hand and slice it like that, and it would cut the cat in half. But what happened was when I did that, it just kind of bended the cat in so that it kind of became like this dough, and it didn't go all the way through. And I was like, oh, this poor cat. So then I go like this, and it starts like rolling into this dough with like a cat head and the, like the arms. It's, uh... It was weird, and then I woke up immediately, and then I kind of, ah. On Tuesday, in literature, we were writing this essay in class in response to an article which talked about how many regions have many different cultures. In my essay, I was supposed to respond to the article, I said that it's not just restricted to regions because of things like technology and things, and we can like, ugh. Talked a bit about right and proper ladies and about how we have a Canadian and we have two people from the British area. I talked about how you were really confused by the cheese, whereas I would have been like, yeah, it's just like nachos and cheese are just things that you eat. But then it didn't occur to me that that's actually a weird thing. Like cheese isn't supposed to be liquid. 